Come on, now she's what? right on. I'm posted up. And, oh no! No, I got it! I'm gonna find love! Suck it! It's bulking season, baby, and no, I don't mean eating to gain more weight, though we are doing that too. I'm talking about buying in bulk because we're taking Costco's iconic food court items and making a fancy chicken bake, hot dog, and pizza. Josh, yeah. listen to me. Well, Nicole and I elevate these food court items to the executive membership status. Uh-oh, my life just changed in a way that I wasn't expecting. Or will these dishes only be worthy of borrowing someone's membership card? I want to kiss everybody! I love kissing people! Don't want to fill up on the free samples unless they got those dank ravioli. I normally eat live flies, but I like the cheese. <laughs> and miss this high-end experience. I ate a bone. I'll just swallow the bone. Nicole, stop. You're ruining my trash pile. That's my good trash. I'm gonna cash those in for gold one day. Give me, give me the chicken bake. Give me the chicken, chicken bake first. Okay. We have a whole bounty of Costco oh. food right here that I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, oh, me too. What's on the floor? Is there anything good? Um, no, just a bunch of cans and wrappers and sadness, Josh. <laughs> we need to get this fixed immediately after this conversation. Stop trying to change me. I kind of have to. Oh, chicken bake, greatest food in the world, right? I, I haven't had one of these in a really long time. Oh, me neither. Oh, but it's so warm and oh my god, it's juicy. For those of y'all who don't know about the chicken bake from Costco, it's like what a Hot Pocket should be. It's really great. Mmm. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Why is it so wet in there? It's so good. It's so delicious. It's so warm, wet, and inviting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what Caesar dressing, bacon, chicken, and cheese. There's a lot of stuff we can fancify in there. We're fancying a lot of things today. We're going hot dogs, we're going pizza, and we're doing chicken bake. I love it so much. Uh, it's all because we couldn't decide on what we should make fancy. Yeah. All right, save that for later. Okay. Okay. okay, hot dog. Do you want to share a hot dog or do you want your own hot Lady dog? Lady in the trampet. Oh, really? There's nothing on it. Wow, where's the, where's the car mustard? I gotta have mustard <laughs> in here somewhere. Here, you want a really lady in the Hold trampet? on, Nicole. This it's is a meme so waiting much. to happen. Everything at Costco is a million and a half calories. They start putting calories on the board. God damn it. Oh, weird. It's such a gigantic hot dog. It is a I think It is a can, massive, it's a good hot dog. I think we can make a massive good hot dog, but we should make a kosher. Just Let's as revenge? That. Yeah, I love a good kosher hot dog. Costco, you get rid of your kosher hot dog. We're coming with our kosher hot dog. We're gonna start selling it outside of your Burbank store That's or right. maybe even the Atwater Village location. Oh my gosh, is there soda here? But I was sad they didn't have the combo pizza anymore, it's shady. Yeah, Costco got rid of the combo pizza, but they still got mm. pepperoni and cheese. And this to me is like California style pizza. It's big, it's floppy, there's a mountain of cheese on it. It's perfect. Look at that undercarriage. Oh, shoot. That's really good. In a world where everyone's trying to be like, oh, we're from the Ligiulia region of Italy. <laughs> Costco's like, we're from the Costco region of Costco, That's right. baby. Yeah, buy 36 counts of, I don't know, fruit snacks. It's squishy. It is cheesy. We're already getting revenge. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We're making a combo pizza. There's nothing I love more than pizza and revenge. <laughs> I also kosher hot dogs. Nicole, from the great sushi of the Edome period in Japan, to the Louis XIV courts of medieval France, to the golden age of Russia. No one has created a better food in the history of the universe than Costco and the chicken bake. Hot damn, are you Agreed. excited? It's Caesar dressing, which I think is so fun. Like, who, hot Caesar? Who would've thunk? Yeah, hot Costco Caesar, thunk. normally you gotta pay extra for that, all right? So we can... <laughs> Stupid joke, I'm sorry. Really Can we just take this whole thing over? Can no, we start no, this day we over? I'm gonna going. drive home. All right, cool, so we got a guinea fowl right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hack it in half. Nicole, I'm gonna take just a big open-handed swing on this real okay, quick. Okay, go for it. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I don't care. Should I go through the back? This is your show. This is the next still apparent? No, 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 other way, other way. You sure you don't wanna go through the spine? I you think you gotta right go through the breast? The, yeah, clean right, through the breast. I need some I need some room here. Okay, got it. Sort of hit one of. Oh my gosh! Oh my right gosh! Right through. That was so impressive. I kind of really, yeah, I really Josh. got it right through yeah. the, the cool bone. You're a talented man. Thank you so much. You All right, so me, we're gonna confit half of it, this, and then the rest of it, we're just. I don't know, man. We're gonna give it. We got an office dog that wants a half a guinea fowl. <laughs> Do you want to hear a great crazy fact about guinea fowl? I sure do. I always want to listen to your this crazy facts. This is the facts, crazy, Nicole. Are you ready? But are you ready for how crazy it is? I was born ready. Let's fact about guinea fowl. All right, so check this out. Guinea fowl, right, is native to the African subcontinent, and turkeys are native to um, uh, South America. Uh, well, actually, predominantly Mexico and Central America. Um, and so then, uh, after the Columbian Exchange, there were all these like trading ports, right? And there was one in. Turkey, right? Um, back the then, the country not of Turkey. The country, but back then it wasn't, you know, of it's course, Turkey like the state now, right? of Turkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, so, anyways, there were a bunch of birds there, and then there was one. that was it was a guinea fowl from Africa, and someone looked at it, and they're like, "This is in Turkey, so we're just gonna call it a turkey." But because they thought it was a turkey, but it was a guinea fowl. 
can't do that. It's not that cool of a Josh, I didn't fact. really care for the fact, but... Um, it wasn't a great fact. I don't really care, but it I... It got muddled in the storytelling, too. But you know what I would really... Polymeal Strike the Garlic, like, dude. I'm not really... You can I do it. I can't do it. You can do it. I have you, weak wrists. I know, but that's why you gotta lean over and stack. No, it's really, Nicole, Josh, just, just, just pound do down. do it for me. Come no, on, No, if, if I do it for you, Come you'll on. never learn. I don't want to learn. Thank you. You're my best. Oh, look there at you. you. So useful. Came off and that was really nice. That was very useful. Um, so uh, what's going in my Caesar dressing, you guys? Well, let me tell you. We're making a delicious truffle chervil. What? What did you put in there? A peppercorn. I don't want the peppercorn in there. Just one. I don't want the peppercorn Just, in there. I'll Take fish it out. out. I'll fish Take don't it out. Turn on the blender. Just don't. Don't, don't even threaten. <laughs> I lost the peppercorn. Well, now there's a piece of, what is this, chervil? Chervil, yeah, it's a really, really what cool. What is chervil? It's a cool, unique herb. It has like a very, it doesn't have you ever, exist. Have you ever tried it before? Have I've all. like, I've, I don't think I've ever tried it. I've only heard chervil on like Top Chef and I go, oh yeah, I know what that is. It's a very delicate, almost celery Can you cilantro. you pick some for me? I have raw yeah. bird on my hands. Yeah, it's like a celery cilantro hybrid, but incredibly delicate. Don't touch. I'm like a giraffe. They, do you know giraffe, do you want to hear a giraffe fact? No, just okay. eat it. You can tell me later. Did you know giraffes are kosher? What? Giraffes are kosher animals. <laughs> giraffes want to eat a cheeseburger? <laughs> if you wanted, you could giraffes butcher eat a giraffe. Bacon? I'm saying giraffes are kosher. You could Gir potentially butcher a giraffe. I'm not saying you should. Giraffes only go to Coffee it. Bean and not Starbucks because <laughs> Coffee Bean doesn't. <laughs> oh my God, that is such a deep cut. How do you know that? I'm Jewish in LA. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You never believe me that I'm Jewish. Of course I believe Coffee you. Coffee Bean will not allow you to bring outside food in to not disrupt their kosherness. Okay, so we've added pink peppercorns <laughs> oregano buds and some black mustard seed and a little bit mm -hmm. of black pepper and smoked paprika wow. uh, to the guinea fowl. We're gonna confit it low and slow. The chicken bake typically has chicken. Like grilled chicken. <laughs> I, I use quotes because I and don't it, know if it's actually like grilled or not, but it's grilled enough for the yeah, sake of it's Yeah, it's grilled chunks of chicken. It's yeah. akin to the chicken in a hot pocket, but we wanna shred some lovely guinea fowl meat. They're gonna add some red Hawaiian salt Ooh, right there. We're gonna fancy. cook it low and slow for about four hours in this dish. That's a whole bunch of bird fat poured on top. Because guinea fowl, any bird meat, any game bird is Hella going lean. to be hella lean. Yeah. Nicole, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no, I'll do the Top Chef thing. Sorry. Hey Nicole, Sorry. tell me what you're making. Um, so right now I'm, I'm making a Caesar dressing with uh, anchovy fillets with a little bit of spice and then a Worcestershire powder shrivel. Um, we're adding a little bit of Soto Cern uh, truffle cheese and then um, what else do I have? Soto Cernere. Soto Cernere, oh I thought it was Soto Cern. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the piece of resistance Truff Mayo featured on Spork.com. They talk about putting this stuff on all kinds of stuff like chips. For external use only. Taylor no, this is one. going internal for you. I don't care. What do you mean? It's edible. I of make it's my internal. jokes for Taylor and Taylor alone. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate oh gosh. that. So Taylor's just... my target demo. So <laughs> Taylor, keep, keep, keep clicking refresh on the video, man. Just get, oh give us gosh. all the views. So uh, a lot of people in the comments are like, why didn't you make a Caesar dressing from scratch with like egg yolk? Yeah, because sucks. hot mayonnaise, man. Hot mayonnaise won't make it happen. It might separate, it might break. It, this has a ton of things in it that'll help it from coagulating. You crazy mofo. Give me one. Oh, I love, oh, I love, oh, 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 I'm not even like one of those fancy fish beezies, you know what I mean? You are, that is a treat. All right. Can I have some cracked black pepper? Wow, first? yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you don't want to just put more anchovies in there? Yeah, I think we should put like 14 more. Right? No, maybe not 14. Well, I mean a couple. Like four, four. Shoot. Yeah. Was oh, right. flavor bomb. They're so meaty, they're so meaty. Wow, so wow, wow. Meaty. Wait, listen to this. What's this from? So meaty. It's from uh, the soup. I hate you so much. What is the soup? What is the soup? Never mind. What is it though? It won't fit. It fit. Okay, it fits. All right, no so we got. Josh has no faith in me fitting things in. No, that's face. not it. No, that's not it. I, I have no spatial reasoning. I think it's actually a learning disability. I took a <laughs> test. I had to go into a psychologist's office for five hours. I sat there. Sounds and, like, like fun. Did a little test, um, and I finished in like the 22nd percentile of spatial reasoning, 99th percentile Ooh. cognitive ability. Wow. Something's wrong with me. Something's wrong. And they didn't even tell me what. They are just like, yeah, you're all messed up. Yeah, all you right. know, people say men have really good spatial reasoning, but I guess you are the outlier, honey. Because I'm an alpha. <laughs> I or no, Sigma. I, Which one, Delta? I'm a Delta male? You're an outlier. I'm a Delta frequent flyer male. Um, <laughs> so we got, we got the guinea fowl in the oven. Yeah. It's gonna confit for like four hours. 
We got that. Can I look it straight off there? You don't, you normally don't let me. You know but what? You Today's you a your... special day. What's it? <laughs> so yeah, you can do it. <laughs> this is burning hot. Yeah. I gotta shred it with my hands. Yeah. So I'm gonna do Nicole. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I feel like Chris Angel right now. You really are a mind freak. Thank you so much. <laughs> Soak my hands in water, and I will attempt to debone this burning oh, hot bird. Oh, that Ow. makes no sense. Ow, no, it does because okay. the water absorbs the heat. Okay, hear me for out. For a little bit. Why don't you? Why don't you use fork? I refuse. Je refuse. Oh my gosh, he's becoming French. <laughs> okay, do you think this is enough meat? This is probably enough meat, right? I think that's enough meat. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, can I eat this wing? Do whatever you want. This is your show, need I remind you. Oh, well, was it hot? Mm. How hot was it? Mm, that is good. My hands are burning. The well, water's really helping. You just gotta do this every couple seconds. You're the Sorry, strangest you man. No, I'm fine. What about this? Um, no, I'm gonna- I'm telling you, if you soak your hands in ice water, you can really touch anything hot. Can I try? Yeah. Okay. Just reach in there and grab it. Do you believe in ice baths? No. Okay. I believe they exist. That does help. Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh that's, my, a, that's how I do this. My hand is in hot oil right now. It's a trick. It's a farce. I don't feel anything. Uh, I'm starting to feel it now. Ooh, good that. that was really. Hit that, hit that ass, ma'am. How good. <laughs> I ate a bone. <laughs> I ate a bone. I'll just swallow the bone. Um, wow. right, so we got all of our uh, comfy guinea fowl in there. Yeah. I'm snipping off some duck bacon, doing this Korean grandma style. Cool. Have you ever been to Korean barbecue? I love Korean grandma style. Everything is cut with scissors. I don't do, I don't do it ever in my own home. I do. But every time I cut anything with scissors, I'm like, damn, I should do this way more. Um, also, this is a really interesting cheese. It's called red dragon cheese, and it's like a really delicious English cheese infused with like four kinds of mustard. Do you want to try it? <laughs> it's like feeding an iguana. <laughs> I normally eat live flies, but I like this cheese. <laughs> um, wow, that looks dude, so good. Dude, 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 when all this cheese melts. Is this my dream chicken salad? Oh my God. It might just be my dream chicken <laughs> Wait, salad. This looks bite. gorgeous. Um, that's a big hunk of cheese. You eat it, you eat it, it's okay. You work so hard. Of all cheese. You feel good? I gotta wash myself. Okay, you can go wash Do yourself. Do the graphic that lets okay. me go wash da, myself. Na, na. I have perfect pitch. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna fold like so. And then I'm gonna fold like so. And then, and then I'm gonna fold like so, and then like Ugh. so, and then I'm going to pinch, 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 and then I'm gonna. Sorry, I ate a lot of cheese and mayonnaise there. <laughs> Got it on my shirt. You're doing great though. I don't I think you need my help great. on this one, right? No, I think we're good. Do you want me to cheese it? No, not yet. So actually, fun fact: what I saw a video on the internet of them making this. They no. put Caesar dressing on. Get the that! Outside. They're baking Caesar. <laughs> they are. They yeah. mayonnaise the whole thing. Yeah. All of Costco was covered in mayonnaise. They mayonnaise. <laughs> the quinoa bags you're getting, those are covered in mayonnaise. I bought my mattress from Costco. I bought my sofa from Costco. I buy all of my snacks from Costco. I don't buy any perishables though. But yeah, Costco's great. You know how many rolls of toilet paper I have? How like many? 40. It's like 40. It's not that impressive. I'm, oh, not, I'm sorry. Oh. There it is, we got a slathered up, <laughs> mayonnaised up, bricked up dough. It's so bricked up. Uh, we're gonna pop that in the oven. What do you reckon, like 400 degrees until the mayonnaise is dry? I think it's until it's beautiful golden brown. Jesus Christ. I'll keep an eye on it. Monstrous. As a Jewish American, I'm conflicted about Costco's hot dog because on the one hand, it costs $1.50 and they said they'll never raise the prices and I enjoy that. On the other hand, they got rid of Hebrew National. Shady. Which is why we're making a kosher beef hot dog. Nicole, That's tell right. them about the kosher beef. Yeah, so we got a kosher Wagyu chuck roast. Literally kosher, not a lot kosher, but kosher enough. And it's from Holy Cow, literal now, website. I know what that all means, but tell them what that all means. Oh, what galat kosher means? Yeah, yeah. So galat kosher is whenever you kill the animal and they check the lungs, and if the lungs have any abrasions, it's no longer galat, it's just kosher. Because it shows how the animal was killed humanely and it didn't suffer. One clean cut across the throat, hung upside down to fully bleed the animal out, because the impurities are in the blood. Good job, Josh. This, I don't reckon, is, could, might be kosher. It has the potential to be kosher. I don't think they're doing that well. Why are they in the salt well? What? In the salt well. No. I get no respect here. I get no respect. What am I supposed to do? Where do I put it, Nicole? You tell me where to put here. it. It's on the ground. It's on the oh. ground. So this is a giant lobe of foie gras. This is one big ass liver from a big ass duck. Um, listen, big I'm a, ass liver from a, big I'm a ass moral liver. relativist, so it's like whatever. Uh, you know, there's a lot of nightmares inside the food system. Foie gras, not the main concern. 
I enjoy eating it. We're just gonna slice off some big chunks of this. That looks and we great. are gonna sear the lobes. What? I think it's so much fun. I'll eat it as a snack. Get some crusty bread. Is it technically legal to buy in California? No. Not necessarily. We Maybe now. We've, Maybe it's like breast milk. You're not allowed to sell it, but you're allowed to donate it. So I'm gonna, you know, you know all about mice, and we've talked about mice on this show more than once. We're getting the mice and started with these ice cubes. We're adding some non-fat milk powder for a binder, and then we got salt, and then we got sugar, and then we got pink curing salt, and then we got coriander, we got garlic powder, we got onion powder, and black pepper. So we're just gonna let that go until it looks a little bit stringy and stunning. Uh-oh, hot dog. <laughs> Shout out Bobby Lee, we Mad have, TV classic. Bobby Lee, come on the show. The love I God. love you. I, I say, love you. Searing off the foie. Come on the show. I'll okay. give you a small kiss on the forehead. Go. Well, they got rid of the onions. Costco, like, Don't they get give me started. and they take. They take and they take and they take and then they give. Get rid of everything. They, they took the onions, the hand cranked onions. That was the reason I love Costco hot dogs. This. I tweeted about Nicole's this. Nicole's doing her I'm activism. I'm angry, I'm sad. Costco, I love you. I want what's best for you. Bring back the hand cranked onions. Make your hot dogs Jewish again! Josh, it's about that time. Yeah, we gotta do the fanciest thing you can do. We gotta take the intestines of one animal and, and force a bunch of meat from another animal into that and then pull it out and it's gonna look like a turd. I have a question. And then, yeah. Why am I the only one that has to do this? Why don't you ever do this? Part? I can do this. What do you mean I can do this? You're the one that got the gloves. I'll come over and do that. No, you want me to do that? You want me to come over? You always tell me to do it. I didn't, I didn't tell you to do it. You like imply I have to be the one to do it. You take the <laughs> intestines into your own hands gratefully. Like you, you did that. Yeah. And whatever. you do it so well. Look at that hand action. All right, this looks great. Uh, Nicole, uh, we made a hot dog once for you and I. Yes, we did. It was bad. Well, let me tell you, Josh. Hot dog cookery, not my best. It's easier I... done in like a giant factory with a bunch of big old that's vats. That's right, that's right. But I have hopes, I have high hopes. You have high hopes about this. All right. Oh, Trevor made a really nice bun. Everyone clap for Trevor. Clap for Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. And when you see Trevor, give him a little forehead kiss like Bobby Lee. Ooh, I'm just yeah, kidding. Just a little you don't Bobby have, Lee forehead kiss. You don't have to do that. Um, um, okay, I'm just gonna do this, I guess. Do you want me to be the catcher? <laughs> yeah. The pitch I catch, let's do it. My hands are clean, but they're gross. I don't what? play any sports, but what Skin's is- Skin's peeling off. The pitcher's the one that throws? Yes. And then the catcher's the one that catches? Nicole, you're the smartest woman in all of the world. Wow, <laughs> your, your beauty is only superseded by your intellect. Josh, you didn't even mention my fake eyelashes. What the hell? This ain't my first sausage rodeo. You got to kind of there. Oh, she's coming. <laughs> oh, she's coming. Too much? No, no, keep going. Enough? Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Oh, no, she's coming. <laughs> the meat's coming. I got a little thin over here, but that's fine. That's okay. You don't want your intestines to burst. <laughs> oh, God, I got a ruptured. Oh, you got a ruptured no. intestine. Josh. It's stuck. How much lube did you add? Too much lube. What do you mean? There's never such a thing as too much lube. But hey, guess what, Josh? What if I told you that V made some beautiful ones and poach them and smoke them and they're already ready to go. We try and do things. Good job, V. Clip for me. These sausages. We don't do any real cooking on here. We're like uh, Emerald on the QVC. Yeah, can you go wash your hands, please? Yeah, I'm Thanks, covered buddy. In raw meat Okay, again. while Josh is doing that, we're gonna heat up this beautiful foie fat. Say that four times fat. Foie fat, foie fat, foie fat, foie fat. I can't even do it. Do you like the petite or do you like the No, 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 we got a big old hunk and bun. See how long that's gonna fit in the bun? This is fully cooked right now, yeah. so you can touch stuff. That's a big old hunk yeah. and dog. And we're we gotta fit a lot of foie gras on there. That's I gotta right. nuke it. So the reason, can somebody show me cook over here? I hitch. So the reason you, <laughs> the reason you nuke a hot dog bun, I learned this lesson when I was a little child chef, is that the steam from the bread is actually gonna make it more pliable. Therefore, you're not gonna get any tears. Now this is cooking. You're My good. dog loves hot hot dogs. You're a really good cook. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Nicole. You're a really good cook. Sometimes Some, you just gotta nuke a hot dog bun, you know? Sometimes you, you're not, and then sometimes you're not. What do you really mean? Are. Why am I not a good cook? <laughs> like 50% of the time. What do you know? But you're talking about like, like yesterday my lunch. Know? My lunch was messed up. I think I'm just gonna do the show from here. Yesterday my lunch, that was not this, my best effort. This is a really good amount of space for the dogs. <laughs> this should be good. They call it a ripper dog in New Jersey. Yeah, but Ben's in New Jersey. <laughs> they don't sound like that. That's very offensive to I'm people sorry. in New Jersey. And Old Jersey, I'm West so Jersey, sorry. East Jersey. I'm sorry, I, you ever, you ever seen the Jersey Shore? I do, Where? yeah. I feel like I would have gotten really, along really well with them because they like to tan their bodies. Gym tan laundry and then they dance like this. And then this. they beat up the beat because I feel like I can do that. I can do that. That's my comfort zone in dancing. 
god. The, the dog's going quick. We're getting a lovely sear on this dog. This is crazy. The, the texture on this is incredible. It's really like a, a wiener. The texture on this is incredible. You know? Where's the ketchup though? We're still putting normal ketchup. The caviar on it. is the ketchup. What do you mean the caviar is the ketchup? The ketchup is the ketchup. No, the caviar is the ketchup. I want ketchup. And the if it's a Costco faster. dog, I get ketchup. Josh, listen to me. Jesus. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hot dog's done. Oh my god. Oh, this is grotesque. All right, cool. Oh my god. So I, I got you in the movie again. I'm sorry. They always hit me in the It's not intentional. And the I record don't... will show that. All right, so. You got it? You're gonna put the cap? Oh my god. Oh yeah, they say never let metal touch caviar, so we're just they gonna- They don't say nothing on. about wood. <laughs> they don't say nothing about wood. Put that on a t-shirt, folks. Well, I made a hot dog. Let's make a pizza. This is my, my lubed up glove, and it's going to do work on this pizza. Uh, I'm sorry, I drink a Diet Cola right before this, and I have the burps. Uh, <laughs> we got our chicken bake done. Yeah. We got our hot dog done. Now, yeah. In the Holy Trinity, I recommended we make a very berry smoothie. Yeah, the, but then I wanted the pizza real bad, but then I made a big mistake and I didn't really do my research properly, AKA when I went to Costco, I didn't really look. And um, I found out that they discontinued the veggie and the combo pizza. But we take our mistakes and we turn them into opportunity. There's a change.org petition. 16,000 people have signed it to bring back the combo pizza to the Costco food court. We're and... bringing this food <laughs> Back, Back from, from the, the past. past! That's Trevor and I's bit! Because we're... Wicked, Wicked smart. smart! It doesn't hit the same. It doesn't hit the same. Doesn't doesn't hit the same. same. Trevor, Trevor, calm down! So we have DOP tomatoes in here. These are imported from <laughs> Italy. Uh, and then we have tomato paste from Italy. Mm -hmm. And then also some garlic paste from Burbank. Okay, <laughs> from West uh, Covina. We just got it, we just got it. Here's what we're doing. We're adding a bunch of cheese and stuff to this. Um, and we're also got cabanosa. <laughs> This is not just leftover from the Jason Kelsey Last Meals episode that Good we bought news. in case the Cabanosa from Philly didn't come in. Oh. Uh, but we do have some delicious Armenian smoked meats here, so we're going on that. And then we have some Iberico ham as well. That's gonna be fan freaking tastic. Josh, I fricked up. I got my my I got my sweater dirty. What? Yeah, why are you cooking in a giant sweater? I don't know, actually. That's we. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? You're acting like me. I worked on a Sunday. I just want everyone to know that. I worked on a Sunday and I had the best time of my damn life. My husband and I went to the farmer's market as if it was something we always do. And he was holding my car, my, my grandma cart, which I really appreciate. And like, we bought a bunch of cool things. I bought these beautiful, look at those, Josh, look at that. That is a bouquet of pink oyster mushrooms. It's pretty it gnarly, gorgeous? dude. I, oyster mushrooms are my favorite mushrooms and my third favorite oyster. Okay, I'm gonna throw the bouquet and you're my bestie and you have to catch it because because I really want this for you and I, I just I just really want like I really want it to like happen, okay? There's no single guys in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close okay. my eyes and I'm gonna throw it, okay? Right. Okay. Anybody else wanna stand there? Anybody I got, else? I got it. Come, on, come, on, come, come on, come on, come on, come on, I'll box Anybody you out. Anybody else wanna stand here? I'll box you out. Come on, try and get in the way between okay. me and institutionalized government sponsored okay. love. Oh. One, two. Got to put her on the uh, hip. Uh, uh, Got to put her on the hip. Got to put her right on. She's right on the hip. She's right on the hip. Uh, uh, one hand up. Come on. Now she's one. right on. I'm busting up. And, oh no! No! I got it. I'm gonna find love. Suck it. I'm so sorry if you didn't mean here. You take that. That was nice. Yeah, it was good stuff. That was, was really good. 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 Thanks. Thanks. You know. Bits. Uh, did you throw a bouquet at your wedding? Yes, I did. Did and I catch it? No. And David's Shoot. cousin's girlfriend caught it, and she's getting married. Hey, Lana. Witchcraft works. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, now, sh what, now more cheese, more, more cheese. pepperoni. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start layering on vegetables. You wanna start putting on the meats? Yeah, for sure. Should I just sure. break off like whole ears yes. of these shrooms? Yes, I think you should. Because we're gonna hit this with a drizzle of olive oil. We can cook it at a really high heat. We have a pre-made pizza crust because like we have to part bake our pizza crust because our oven sucks. Oven sucks. Donate to this GoFundMe to buy us. Josh, Money to lobby against the Burbank Fire Department. Josh, to let us have Josh, they can't what? be signing stuff for Costco and <laughs> petitioning for our oven and going to Spork.com. They can't do everything. If we launch an insurgent campaign against the Burbank Fire Marshal, try and oust him. Taylor, Why are, you? are you down to be the new Burbank Fire Marshal? Thank you. When duty calls, Taylor answers. <laughs> uh, you want me to do, uh, they do this at fancy pizza restaurants. Yeah, they go. yeah, do it. You're so they just kind of like beat Come on, Nicole, you got it. Oh, I'm man. saging it. I like witchy ancestors. What? Ah, that's something white women say. Oh, like wick. Like, Sorry, Tally. Like wicca stuff. <laughs> Some more. So yeah. I started with with uh, sizzle, but now I'm going with drizzle. Yeah, Nicole keeps talking about Lizzo and Rizza and, <laughs> and SZA, and I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> they're olive oils from a really cool brand, and I their marketing campaign is brilliant. 
I'm, I see what the What is it? It's Graza. Tell me, sell me on it. I don't I'm care a shark. To. I'm Mark Cubano. I don't own anything in this company. You're talking. Mark Cuban from Pittsburgh? Yes, I did. I thought oh. he was. I, well, I thought he was Cuban. Is he Jewish? He's Jewish. <laughs> He's the best looking Jew. He's the number one Jew. Mark Cuban, come on the show. I give you little forehead kiss like Bobby Lee. Yo, stop <laughs> offering to kiss the guests. I want to kiss Y'all everybody. Stop offering to kiss the guests. I love it's kissing. It's getting weird. I love kissing people. In the green room, it gets weird. We're uh, gonna throw it in the oven, and then next time you see us, we're gonna be eating all these things. Nicole, we got our fancy Costco chicken bake with soto cenere and red dragon cheeses. It's filled with confit, hacked up pheasant. We got a chervil anchovy dressing in there and duck bacon. We got our hot dog, a lovely black sesame bun, kosher wagyu beef, dog boiled, smoked, seared in foie gras fat, whole lobe foie gras, ocetra caviar, and shallots. And then we have our lovely farmer's market pizza. We got the heirloom tomatoes. We got the olives. We have those lovely pink oyster mushrooms. We have Taleggio cheese and some whole milk mozzarella on there. Some cabanosi from, from straight from Armenia. Shout out to Darren Malakian and Serge Tankian. Um, you, you said this was what? What was in here? Did I say pheasant? Yeah, it's Oh my god, it's a fowl. guinea fowl. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, silly. It's the same thing, dude. They're all birds. Okay, cool. It's a penguin. What do you want me to do? Oh, no, penguin. God forbid. Uh, we gotta taste the Costco stuff. We gotta taste the Costco stuff to remind us. Dude, no, you don't use a pizza cutter for a chicken bake. You rip it open with your hands. This is the greatest food in the entire world. We already know that. Oh my God. It still tastes so good. I'm not even hot anymore. It's still so good. This is what Hot Pocket should have been. Uh, no, well, um, it's I should rip it open, right? Okay, sure. Oh my God. Oh my God, my beautiful child. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. It smells so good. Oh my God, oh, oh my God. Dang, the shervil. It tastes really similar. We lateral moved. It's really good, but the chicken bake is kind of the best food in the world. Uh-huh. So it, we were really up against oh. a Titan. Um, also, we put so much salad dressing in there and it still is a little bit dry. We needed yeah. to triple the amount of salad dressing that was already in there. <laughs> this whole thing was covered in salad dressing. You saw it. That's really, really good though. All right, where do we go? Hot dog? Yeah. All right. What did you say? You want to Jack and Jill it? Is that what you called it? Oh no. Why right. is it yellow? Oh my God. No, no, no. Why is it yellow? I put yellow mustard in the Grey Poupon and I don't mix it. That way it comes out and you get a taste of both. Is what that not what normal people do? Nothing about what you just said is normal. <laughs> I feel complicit. I feel complicit. It's a hot dog. I feel like a hot dog. It's a hot dog. It's like a hot dog. I need to try this one. I need you to do me one big favor. What's that? Swallow. Why? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll take the messed up part. I'll take the messed up part. Here. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll just tuck wow. all the back in there. Wow. This is so pink. It's gorgeous. I said I was going to do it, and I'm a man of my can't word. I believe you. Ketchup and caviar goes well together. Said no human on earth ever. Okay. okay. How do you fit your whole mouth around this? It's easy. It's so good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nicole, what we have gone, there's no turning back. This is naughty. Uh oh, my life just changed in a way I, I wasn't expecting. I am shrouded in guilt right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get me some original pizza, I'll cut you this. I forgot about the original pizza. <laughs> Here, you can bite the tip of it. <laughs> Why do you eat such a big bite of it? Feels lifeless. You know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. I think it's because they just say that. Yeah. There's no more taste. Yeah. This is oh, wet. This is a wet daddy. No, but it still has integrity. Oh wet, but still with integrity. <laughs> Just like me. Let's try it. Shoot, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. You good, fam? Huh? <laughs> I forgot how I was for a second. Josh. Ah. How much was this beautiful Costco food court feast? Yes. How much was it? Uh-huh. I'm gonna give him a second. $347, 21 cents. Dare I say, worth it minus the, the chicken bake. Worth it, well you could, okay, you, listen, you could have <laughs> all this food or you could have a six pack of TVs from Costco. Which one would you rather have? I think I'm going with this, just, for the, this. just for the pure joy and, and talent to see displayed, I'd do this again. And I again, agree. and again, and again, until I am 80. Am I gonna stay here that long? Huh? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Say, man. Thanks for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new videos every week. We got new episodes of our podcast on video on Fridays, and then the audio-only version on Wednesdays. I found a guinea fowl. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time. 
Say it loud and proud with the limited edition Proud Mythical Beast Randler Tee plus new items in our year-round Always Proud collection at mythical.com.